Recently, United Kingdom Interactive Entertainment, or Yuki for short, recently pushed forth a new gaming initiative for parents to get involved with their kids' gaming habits, which is good. However, they're doing it for all the wrong reasons, which is bad. Let's talk about it, shall we? So, for those who don't know, Yuki is a trade association, not too uncommon with the America's ESRB who regulate and lobby for video games in that area. Starting out as the European Leisure Software Publishers Association, or ELSPA, they would change their name in 2010 to the title we now know them as. More or less, any and all things video games in the UK go through to them, and using the Pan-European Gaming Information, or PEGI, rating system, they are able to decide and showcase what video games are acceptable for what ages due to their content. I'll come back to this later. For now, let's talk about the recent video they made and pushes they have been making with the video game industry's constant push towards monetization. It's no big surprise to anyone that most video games in the AAA market tend to have plenty of ways to monetize their game outside of being bought. Loot boxes, EXP boosters, skips, cosmetics, the list goes on. In fact, it's such a common place now that video games that say we won't have additional monetization tend to be praised for such as the practice becomes more and more foreign. As the monetization goes up, so does the spending, and not all of it from refutable places. People who have no control of their urges when things are thrown at them are prone to buying said Microsoft actions. And while it is on them to control their impulses, children with even less impulse control are also having said things thrown in their face. The fear of missing out, which is a concept that games purposely push to trick others into spending, and before you say that isn't real, I will showcase to you the all too infamous video of a video game publisher and developer going point for point every malicious practice to sell microtransactions in games in the description below. One of the points being the fear of missing out. Either way, kids are at risk and it isn't too hard to find cases of children cleaning out their parents' bank accounts when buying the in-game options from cosmetics to their favorite players in FIFA. Most of the times, it's utterly at random too, so even after spending nearly $500, they won't get the one thing they want. Now one would expect an organization like Yuki to point fingers at the video games themselves for putting such options in their game, but instead, the fingers are being pointed at the parents to better watch their own children. I will have the video linked down below, but to paraphrase, it makes several points about parents learning how to set up parental controls on games to limit spending and game time, similar to how the functions on TVs work with an acronym PLAY being their centerpiece of it all. The P stands for play games with your kids, L, learn about family controls, A, ask what your kids are playing, Y, you are in control. In all honesty, I love this concept as both an avid gamer myself and educator. My channel title says it all, and there's nothing more wholesome than seeing a parent and child bond over something. Seeing a parent willing to take the steps to get involved with their children's hobby is good and creates a more healthy, well-intentioned relationship between the two. I personally have a parent of one of my students who is in his mid-50s is playing video games for the first time, all in a means to better connect with his son. He regularly asks for my advice for such because it's the only way he has found to connect with his son, and in turn, his son has been maintaining himself to continue to play games, keeping a solid B average in my class, and overall seeming like he's been enjoying his life more in general. But that could be because of other factors. So while I do like the concept of play, I hate why it was created. Much like how the concept of jaywalking was created by the automotive industry to force pedestrians onto the sidewalk, play was not created as a means of getting children to better connect with their parents through gaming. No, it was created as a means for the video game industry to dodge backlash and continue to sell to children their products and thus their monetization. Kids make up a massive market of the video game industry, and as such, publishers like to keep certain titles as low in the PEGI rating as possible to try and get games into as many hands as possible problem lies with the monetization options I mentioned before that are purposely predatory in a means of giving you as little as possible while taking as much from you as possible. We all know how predatory these systems are, and loot boxes are gambling, they just are, and it's frankly bold that the only reason that it isn't seen as gambling is because the video game industry says it isn't, but that's a video for another time. My problem with this is that the video game industry, rather than taking out the problem, they are telling the parents that it's their fault and that they should better watch their children all in a means to, well, I'll let Jim Sterling say it. Companies love to have their cake and fuck it too. Why shouldn't it be on them to remove the problem? Isn't the point of a game being Peggy 3, which most of these sports games are mind you, 
Isn't that supposed to mean that it doesn't need a parent watching over their child's shoulder to make sure they don't do something wrong or something wrong isn't being taught to them? You wouldn't sit a young child down in front of Dora the Explorer and be ready to clap your hands over their ears if Dora ever decided to yell out fuck. Why is this any different? And don't get it twisted, Yuki and Peggy are clearly being paid underneath the table to ignore these blatant gambling mechanics as well. The fact that they gave NBA 2K20, you know, the game that has an actual slot machine and pachinko machine to simulate gambling to get players where you're able to use real money to buy more spins a Peggy 3 rating, but Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow got a Peggy 12 because the game corner is all too clear a line that something is up. Most video games that you have to pay for don't even need this extra monetization most of the time anyway. Again, we could look to the video game industry's own ever-expanding web of lies to see that they're the ones who said that they could still make a profit without this additional spending. They just don't want to stop because, well, money of course. I'm all for parents understanding the new age of entertainment along with their kids, but the video game industry doesn't get to blame them just because they're too greedy to stop. You do not get to have the clear problems with your system and place the blame on someone else. If a child predator were to snatch up a child, yeah, the parent should have done better to keep an eye on them. But the predator doesn't get to say, well, you should have kept a better eye on them, thus I'm innocent. Not how it works, fam. Not how it works. So this part's off script, and uh, I just want to get to my thoughts on the video game industry and the world itself. So I'm gone for, what, five, six days, and Blizzard's fucking or shitting the bed again. Currently, Warcraft 3 Reforged is the lowest AAA game ever released, so that's a thing. I'm not really surprised. I mean, we've been here multiple times, guys. I, I can't really feel pity for anyone who's still buying Blizzard products. Or, or did we already forget that they barely care about human rights? You're really surprised they barely care about their own products except for money? Okay. And then the coronavirus thing over in China, which is, you know, scary. There's some people, there's, I guess, not even theories, but there's people saying it's man-made. China's just trying to hide it and say, like, oh, no, we're fine over here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> five days gone, and there's five or six days gone, and uh, just shit's going to shit, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's um, Anyway, <laughs> I guess I'm done for right now. I'll be starting my new next LP soon. So, that's a thing. Anyway, later.